Good day folks, in this video we're going to talk about the brand new Super HDR upgrade on the Kandao Google Mate K. I know it's been a quite a long time since we have previously talked about this camera. Actually, on the feature of the brand new Super HDR about two months ago, I have already accomplished a tutorial on that feature. Until recently, I finally received the official update about this camera. I just scroll and go to the Super HDR. Uh, you're gonna enter this mode and if you want to capture in the DNG mode a DNG format you can press this one and there is a DNG button uh, just turn it on and now you have the Super HDR feature with the DNG enabled so let's talk about what has been updated about the Super HDR on the initial release about the Super HDR uh, I have made an in-depth review on that feature that was utilize the feature of the Express DNG8 that take a burst shot in Express DNG8 with minus 3, 0, plus 2 individual Express DNG8 shot stacking camera with the Express DNG8 without the ghosting and save as 3 individual high quality DNG file inside your memory card also on the initial start you have to use your cell phone to perform the HDR rendering on your cell phone so it is just not user friendly and it is not just that convenient imaging quality is ultimate great so i like the feature very much especially for you if you want to capture the high quality interior real estate shot i think the super hdr is the must have feature for you to capture high quality stunning photo and later on they have added a new feature around around two months ago that finally we can enter the individual Super HDR mode on the camera. You can capture a Super HDR shot without a cell phone, but later on you still have to copy the paste all the raw data in your camera, do some post process, and stitch with the Google Studio. What has been changed about the latest feature of the Super HDR? Uh, in my opinion, it has been completely redesigned from the start to finish, and everything about the workflow is now a brand new completely different from the initial stage first thing first let's talk about the shooting process so before that we have to wait for a quite a long time because the camera has to capture three individual express dng8 capture eight dng in burst the stack and the merge inside the camera and later on capture a second after the stacking and merge and take the third shot it will take around 35 to 40 seconds to perform all this post process about the in the total of 24 DNG files. It's quite a huge amount of data. It is very time consuming and it's computational intensive. So by capturing the Super HDR imaging sequences, uh, it's just not that great because uh, our workflow, our capturing the process was divided into three parts and we have to wait for the camera to stack and post. Now with the latest update of the Super HDR 2.0, now the camera has a brand new algorithm that will enable the camera hardware to capture 24 DNG shots in a single burst sequences. On the backstage, they will stack in, in real time. That will reduce a huge amount of time during capture. So now the total time cost for a single capture is around 24 explorer time. It is a lot faster because, because you can just skip the stacking part inside the camera. Because now the camera has a completely new shoot algorithm and also a brand new memory management algorithm. A quick MAK, the real powerhouse is now even more powerful. Capture process, now it is a lot faster. On the previous update, you're gonna see that when you capture in Super HDR, you're gonna hear three individual shutter sound because that was three individual express DNG shot. Now it is a single burst shot with 24 DNG shots. It's been captured at minus three, zero, and plus two. We are in the Super HDR mode and uh, we can enable the DNG shot format. Here, let's hear a sound. Did you see that? It is a starting point of the Super HDR and later on you're gonna hear the the end sound of the Super HDR. The camera was captured 24 DNG shots automatically for you. So there is no time gap in between those shots. It is now very time efficient. With the latest feature of the Super HDR, now the auto stitch, which means the camera can now perform the in-camera stitch. That is a high quality stitch 
the same quality with the Quim Studio 2.0. So how to enable the in-camera stitch? You can go to the options and see that you can enable the auto stitch here. Did you see that? This button. Now you can enable the auto stitch and after each shot, the camera will automatically stitch at 8K resolution for you right inside the camera body. So it is very much efficient compared with the previous Super HDR. What gonna get from Super HDR 2.0 is that not only will it will cost you less time, but the result you get from Super HDR is three individual high quality 16-bit DHG format together with a high quality JPEG file that was in camera HDR merge and with additional equirectangular 8K JPEG file with auto stitch inside the camera. So what you're gonna get is altogether five images with three high quality DNG file, an on stitch dual fish eye image and an auto stitch final result. That is the reason why I have told you at the beginning that with this update of the Super HDR, it has improved by a giant step. It is now very convenient and it is very user friendly for you to take the full advantage of the Super HDR. You can even capture those shots without a cell phone. Just enable the shooting mode, set timer, and enable the DNG format, and just press shutter button, hide yourself. When you go back, you're gonna get five high quality results. And if you still want to have a higher imaging quality like professional guys, you can utilize the three individual high quality DNG file with post process on the PC, on the Mac, with professional workflow and with the help of the Quicken Studio 2.0, you're gonna have the same high quality stitch as in camera, but it has more precise control of every pixel, squeeze out the full potential of those 16-bit high quality DNG file. So that is the latest update about the Super HDR 2.0. So let's wrap up. Number one is a faster shooting process. Now the camera will capture 24 DNG file automatically while stacking at the backstage. That will save you quite a lot of time. So the second improvement about the Super HDR is now you're gonna have an auto stitch with high quality 8K in-camera HDR merge and stitch. You're gonna share with your clients directly without a computer, without a cell phone, just copy and paste the stitch 8K image from the SD card and you are good to go. The stitching quality is exactly the same as the Quicken Studio 2.0 and is really high quality. Third one is finally we can bring back the 16-bit high quality 3D file. So that is another shout out from all the customers of the Quicken Make Aid. As I have promised on the Facebook group, now it is time for me to share with you everything I have learned, I know about the Super HDR. Let's call it the Super HDR 2.0. And I hope we can learn something about this Super HDR feature and make the better use of your Kindle Quicken Make Aid. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to sum up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. More to come in the future about Quicken Make Aid. Until next time, bye.